What a way to start off a week here today, back in Pilsen. We said we wanted to go to more taco spots in Pilsen. That's what we're doing today. La Esperanza restaurant in Pilsen. Glad you guys are here. Yeah, guys, and uh, as you guys know, you were the only reason that this show happened, so we gotta give shout outs to the people who really do it, who really support us. So today we're doing a donation shout out for Jake Crump, who donated $200 to us. Yes. If you guys are looking to donate, we've got our super thanks button that's on every single video. You can also check out our Venmo, which is just at number six with cheese, or our PayPal, which we have linked down below, and also on the homepage of our YouTube channel, there's a little icon for it, you can click on that. Um, truly guys, we appreciate it. Like I said, we wouldn't be able to do this show without you guys, so thank you so much for all the help. And uh, yeah, everyone, be like Jake and uh, donate to the show. Absolutely, all right guys, tacos and burritos now, let's do it. On the table there? Awesome, thank you so much. Have a great day. Unsurprisingly, everybody in there was super nice. All right guys, Corey got three tacos, I got a burrito. La Esperanza in Pilsen acquired Jump Cut. So the last time we did a Pilsen video, I didn't know what it stood for. I looked this place up, this, this place is called The Hope. The Hope. The Hope. This kind of food does give me hope for the world, I'll tell you what. Don't do bits while I'm focused on Sorry. It. <laughs> the food. All right, uh, these are Corey's. Corey, why your second angle? All right, let's see what we got here. This is, whoa, look at these. Look like great tacos. So we've got a couple different kinds here. We've got an El Pastor, which I believe is that maybe. Then we've got a, what did I order? You got chorizo and car, uh, Oh, this is chorizo then. Okay, so chorizo, onion cilantro, El Pastor, onion cilantro, and then this is just like an, a steak one, yeah, right? Yeah, carne asada, yeah. Carne asada. Mm -hmm. squeeze, a little, squeeze a little lime on there. They were sold out of the barbacoa, you wanted that, but that's a good pivot, I feel like. Yeah, dude. Also, what is this shirt, by the way? It's the sickest shirt I've ever seen you wear. I'm glad you brought that up. I no longer wear my shirts on number six with cheese videos. I only wear number six with cheese gear. I've decided, except for when I buy a new shirt, Yeah. You guys hit the channel five. It's the first time I ever bought merch from a YouTube channel. Oh man, that's it's such a cool design. Yeah, dude. Damn. Andrew Callahan, channel five. Y'all, y'all respect channel five, dude. That's what this merch does. It, it brings new viewers to their channel. Yeah, that's true. Tell, I'm hey, excited. Tell, tell Andrew I sent you. <laughs> no, it's greatest YouTube good. channel on YouTube. It, be, behind number six with cheese. I, ours isn't very good though, so I'm sure it's oh, much. Oh, you better. shut your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Yeah, those are looking good. Look at all those fresh onions, too. I know, overloaded on onions, which I love. And then I uh, I went burrito today. I did the carne asada burrito. Um, the tacos look fantastic. I just switched it up, so I'm excited for this. God, I love a good grilled like Mexican burrito, though. Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm pretty excited for this, dude. Me too, dude. Thanks, dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, what does mine say? Sweet! What about mine? Dude, what does mine say? Sweet! -a. What about mine, dude? The hope. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I started with the uh, steak one. What did you say this was? Carne asada. Oh, great. Yeah, I bet. It looks so good. This is better than the other steak one we had. Mmm. From the other place, uh, like three weeks ago. Yeah. A year ago. I don't know. <laughs> what is time? A lot of onions. I like that they overdo it on the onions because you can't overdo it on onions for me. This is gonna sound kind of weird, most like most ways I describe food. Mm -hmm. Good wetness to this burrito. Mm. It's like sometimes burritos like can be kind of dry without the sauce. There's like a creaminess, kind of just like a good. I don't even. It's weird to describe, but something about it is really nice. No, there's a couple Mexican joints that I've been to. Well, one that I'm thinking of particularly that has a steak burrito. That it also has like a creaminess that I love. Yeah, this is I, I don't get this is like how Chipotle burritos it's not to like me greasy are not like there's like kind of a dryness sometimes, and this is just really nice. Um, yeah, I'm glad you understood that because yeah. it sounds psychotic to say that loud. I'm trying the chorizo now. This red sauce salsa is way fresher. It's like it's it, so thick. It's almost like a pico mm. de gallo in a way. Whoa, this chorizo is amazing. Man, we're really on a getting good chorizo. A little down here. too greasy. Mm. Some this is a chorizo thing with me. Sometimes it's so fa so flavorful, it's too much for me. Yeah, just like an overload. Chorizo can be really overpowering. Uh oh, this is a new shirt. I gotta be real careful. I know. I was gonna say. Mm. What white shirt? Was no, it? this is still good. Years Even ago. with overpowering. Oh, good. I like the red salsa from the other place better um, than this one. Yeah. Let's try this verde. Very green. All right, I'm moving on to El Pastor. These tacos are phenomenal. I like the verde better. That's rare. 
Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. doing great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys could come down to Pilsen on a nice day and you could hit mm. five or six taco spots. Like just get one or two from each place and just go on a crazy taco crawl. It honestly sounds like the best day right. of my life. Damn, and that place was BYOB. I feel like I don't see that a lot with like Mexican joints because they'll do their own and they want you to buy their tequila. But yeah, you could BYOB that spot. Well, a lot of the smaller ones that don't have liquor licenses, like the one that I that's right by my place, mm -hmm. also BYOB. Mm. That's awesome. Oh, this is great. I could really crush a 12 pack of Corona while sitting in there. Yeah, dude. Man, I just, this is such a unique steak burrito. I feel like so many of them in Chicago are very similar. This is really like standing out to me as like very unique. You can really see the creaminess. Mm hmm. I wonder if it's like a sour cream. I don't know. Whatever they're doing, keep doing it. This El Pastor, I like the um, last Pilsen spot we went to. Yeah. A touch better, but this is really good and it's like different than most El Pastor's. The flavor is like got almost a sweetness to it. Hey, I'll take it's it. It's great though. Well, the flavor that just like on your tray of food, like right? it just looks like flavor overload. Oh my God, that is so good. This spot, the steak is better, the carne asada, mm -hmm. and the chorizo and El Pastor are just a small touch less than, but it, I don't want to say the word worse because mm -hmm. it's not bad, mm -hmm. it's great tasting. Yeah. But both places are infinitely better than like any place I've had on the north side, I feel like. It's kind of wild. What's the price on the tacos? Those were $4.25 each. Oh, so this is a little bit more expensive, uh -huh. a lot of bit more expensive. Uh -huh. Well, wow, that makes the other place better. They're a full dollar more than the other spot. Wow. My burrito was $10.99. That's about the burrito price for one that big. Yeah, I, 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 feels, I think that's right in line with Yeah, it. feels appropriate. Yeah. So yours was what, $12.75 for three tacos? Okay. You paid, I'm, 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 I don't know. You tell me, don't ask me the question. That's how I talk to myself. <laughs> I have uh, two personas. I ask myself a question, then I answer it. Mm, that's, that's wonderful. Is it? <laughs> One thing I also always forget about, like Pilsen is really not that far away. No. Like 18th Street, street it creeps up on you pretty quickly. Like it's, I mean, we have the car, but even getting down there via public transit is not that hard. What do you do for public transit? I take the bus down there. Okay. Yeah, we, we came from a review on the south side and it was like, or from a south loop, I should say. And it was super quick. Yeah, it was like not way bad. quicker than I expected. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, I had a detour, so it wasn't as quick as I expected, but it should have been super quick. Was the detour you missing an exit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I wonder how many miles, because we don't drive that much, like distance wise, but I wonder how many miles you've logged, like in six years of doing the show, like driving for I the show. I can't tell you six years, but because of our handy dandy for tax purposes mileage for tax, or mileage log for taxes, right. uh, I can tell you how much we've done in the last couple of years, right. and then we can extrapolate that out. Right, right. And then we'll have to do some sort of adjustments for the fact that we varied our schedule. Yeah, early on it was one video a week. Yeah, and two. so there'll be a lot of adjustments, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, we can come up with some pretty good data for you. <laughs> See what it's like being friends with this nut job? <laughs> <laughs> that was super delicious, obviously. I can't wait to come back down to Pilsen again. It's just so much fun down here, uh, said my stomach. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Helps a lot. We're doing these videos five days a week. If you're a patron, you get five of them a week. All right, guys, let's chat about your favorite thing from Mexican food joints like that. Uh, rank these of order of importance for you. Tacos, burritos, chimichangas. I'm gonna comment mine. Yeah, I'm um, definitely gonna throw mine up in the mix. And uh, we'll chat about, and then maybe there's other dishes you like too. We can just keep those the comments rolling here today about delicious, authentic Mexican restaurants and their and their menus. Awful. And and not cheesy gordita crunches. Yeah. And uh, the Mexican pizza, I'm assuming, is not something they had on the menu. Uh, let us know, rank those. All right, tender, tender rate. You had the tacos. Um, out of five bottles of salsa verde, how many bottles of salsa verde do you give the taco trio from La Esperanza restaurant, Corey? Taste was super good. Uh, just a tad touchdown from what we had recently in Pilsen, but still excellent taste. The only thing that's like really hitting their score for me is the price. I felt like I was paying Northside prices. A little bit. Like I felt like I was playing Broville prices. Yeah. And um, yeah, I feel like now that I know that Pilsen has like the cheaper options, yeah. that kind of hits a little bit. But still, excellent, excellent stuff. The corn tortilla was a little bit better at the uh, most recent Pilsen spot too. So that's another little touchdown. Um, I'm gonna go, it's still great. I'm going 3.5. It's still great, great tacos. Yeah. Uh, that was one of the, uh, the better. Sweet. Yeah. Holy shit. That was sick. And it wasn't even like that nice of a car. And then I had to slow down for a speedboat. <laughs> Anywho, wow. That was cool. 
That was just so different than like the late night Mexican burritos that you'll get a lot of the times. Like that just had a different creaminess and a different, it just hit different. It was really unique as a steak burrito. I'll leave some room for having the best one ever, but damn, that's a damn good jumping off point for me for burritos and Pilsen. I'm gonna go 4.25. I think that's a good one to snag. If I went there again, I'd get the tacos. I was, yeah. I'm once again jealous of Corey's order. Taco over burritos, you mm -hmm. think? I think so. Those look those look really good. They're excellent. Um, all right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday if you're a Patreon member. Uh, thanks for rocking with us here to start the week. And uh, we love each and every one of you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Unless you're mean to other people, then I don't love you. Yeah. Peace.